Senate probing ERC corruption wraps. Forty million Pfizer vaccine deal inked. Go says vaccination key in return to normalcy. LP will support opposition bet. NTF backs mandatory use of face shields. Pope backs Myanmar bishops' appeal to aid displaced in Hungary. Gigas downs South Korea anew. And Southwest monsoon affecting the zone, Pagasa. Good morning, I'm Miguel Patagon, and you are watching Tribune News on Q. Today is Monday, June 21, 2021, and now the news. The Senate has decided to investigate allegations of corruption involving the Energy Regulatory Commission and the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, believed to have been the primary reason for the unannounced power outages and higher power rates the past many years. Senator Win Gatchayan, chair of the Senate Energy Committee, told Daily Tribune on Sunday that the committee, now deeply looking at the causes of the power outages lasting up to two hours the past weeks, would devote a separate hearing for allegations of regulatory capture, a term meant to, de to describe corruptions when the government agency has been co-opted to serve the commercial interests of a company it is supposed to regulate. The committee will resume its hearing on electricity reserves tomorrow, including the so-called inappropriate NGCP spending of 1.12 billion pesos in entertainment fund or what is passed as a corporate social responsibility in 2017 and 2018. It has set the hearing on corruption nearly in July, with the chair now seem morally convinced of the allegations. Gatchalian told the Daily Tribune on the allegations first raised by former Senator Serge Osmeña last week and by two big consumer groups on Saturday asking why and how the ERC could allow the NGCP to defy the government order to prevent brownouts by producing enough power reserves. The Philippines and Pfizer-BioNTech signed a supplement agreement for 40 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines. National Task Force Against COVID-19 Chief Implementer and Vaccine Czar Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. said on Sunday. According to the vaccine czar, the deliveries of 40 million doses of Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines will begin after eight weeks starting August and shipments will be delivered in bulk. The agreement is the country's biggest COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine procurement for 2021 and it will be funded by the Asian Development Bank through multilateral arrangements. He assured that the transparency will be championed as the loan funds from multilateral partners such as the ADB follows a direct disbursement scheme wherein payments are paid directly by fund manager to the vaccine manufacturer. With the latest supply agreement, the Philippines has now secured the delivery of 130 million doses from five manufacturers, namely Sinovac with 26 million doses, Sputnik V with 10 million doses, 20 million doses from Moderna, 17 million doses from AstraZeneca, and 40 million doses from Pfizer. Senator Christopher Bongo on Sunday urged Filipinos to take advantage of the inoculation program against COVID-19 to hasten the country's return to normalcy. Noting that the country now ranks second in the Southeast Asian region in terms of total doses administered and has breached the 8 million mark in the number of anti-COVID-19 jabs administered Go encourage everybody not to waste opportunity as getting vaccinated is one of the best contributions we can give in our efforts to overcome this crisis as one nation. He encouraged partners in public and private sectors to come up with creative means to encourage more people to get their shot. The former presidential aide assured that the country is now on the way, on the way to finally defeating the virus through the efforts of the government to attain herd immunity through the vaccines. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Click, click.
that's it. Never thought self service can be this slick. Modify plans in a snap. Walang hirap is a wrap. Just tap the app. Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew. Help and support for you. Out with the ring ring apps or the in thing. You know what to do. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Self service and easy to use. Mas okay tayo dyan. Globe at home and Globe One. All in the Globe app na yan. Instant response, no hold time pa, wala nang hintayan Download Globe at Home and Globe One app, all in the Globe app na yan Download the Globe One and Globe at Home apps from Google Play Store and Apple App Store now Download Globe at Home and Globe One app, all in the Globe app na yan da 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 Long distance easy with the Mirage G4. Hatch something big! The all new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes Utility Mode, Long Mode, Tall Mode, Refresh Mode. The all new City Hatchback. Hatch more life! In other news, the Liberal Party is willing to back the opposition candidate. Who will go against the administration's bet if Vice President Lenin Robredo decided against joining the presidential race in 2022 national election, Senator Francis Pangilinan said on Sunday. While their plans are still to be ironed out, Pangilinan said his party shares the belief that the opposition should unite and introduce a single slate for the next year's polls. Hopes that Robredo will consider running for the country's highest post remain strong in LP as Pangilinan said she is still being considered as the top choice for the party's standard bearer. His statement is in the tune with the remark of former LP President Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon, who earlier said Robredo is still the strongest candidate to challenge the administration's bet and unite all the non duterte candidates. The vice president is yet to announce her plans after the expiry of her term but previously said she is open to all options. In May, she is emerged as the top pick among the preferred candidates in the 2022 presidential race in an online pre-election survey conducted by Filipinas2022.ph, a still obscure sur survey group. National Task Force Against COVID-19 Spokes Person, Restituto Padilla said the NTF backs the mandatory use of face shields as the country awaits the final decision of President Rodrigo Duterte on the issue. Padilla noted that the number of Filipinos vaccinated against the COVID-19 is still small to warrant the lifting of the compulsory wearing of face shield. Padilla warned that an abrupt change in the policy could lead to an increase in the cases of COVID-19 in the NCR+. According to Badia, the decision of Duterte is expected to be released on or before his scheduled talk to the people on Monday night. Earlier, the ITAP submitted the, to Duterte its recommendation on the continued wearing of face shield in enclosed spaces. Pope Francis drew his weight Sunday behind an, behind a behind an appeal from bishops in Myanmar to the nation's military leaders to allow aid to reach thousands of displaced people dying of hunger. Myanmar has been in turmoil since the military overthrew civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi and her National League for Democracy of Government in a February 1 coup. A brutal crackdown on the dissent by the junta has since killed at least 870 civilians, according to the local mortar group. The junta has faced a number of appeals to allow safe passage for humanitarian aid. Livelihoods have been lost after strikes and factory closures. Fuel prices have shot up, and those lucky enough to have bank services face day long queues to withdraw their cash. The World Food Program estimates that within the next six months, as many as 3.4 million more people will go hungry in Myanmar and is poised to triple its emergency food assistance. We will be back. Stay with us. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages. 
and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. On the road, I can expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. In sports, Gilas Pilipinas reasserted its mastery of South Korea with an 82-77 victory Sunday to wrap up its stint in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers with an unblemished 6-0 slate at the Angeles University Foundation Pampanga. Dwight Ramos led the way with 19 points, 3 rebounds, and 5 assists as the Nationals, composed of cadets, showed the Koreans that their 81-78 triumph last Wednesday was not a fluke. The highly tutored 7-3 Kai Soto, R RJ Abrientos, and Jordan Heading chipped in 10 points apiece as Gilas shot 5 of 9 from beyond the ARC. Baldwin, whose squad took advantage of the Koreans, 12 turnovers by converting 19 points. With a slim 56-54 lead entering the fourth frame, the Nationals stepped on the gas with Soto and Abrientos joining hands in a 7-3 surge that gave them a 63-57 lead roughly 3 minutes into the payoff period. However, the Koreans tightened their defense and improved their streaky shooting from downtown, letting Hong Seok Yang drop a timely triple that pulled them within one, 68-67, nearing the halfway mark of the final count. And the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astrome Astronomical Services Administration on Monday said that Southwest Monsoon is affecting Luzon. According to the Weather Bureau, Mimaropa, Western Visayas, and the provinces of Zambales and Bataan will experience cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. While Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers. Temperatures will range from 26 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. And that wraps up the stories this morning. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trivia Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis. And in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store and Google Play for the, at least for the latest comprehensive news online. The Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber, Katribu, to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. The Torcito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit our, our community Viber and search for Katribu. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and Analyta City for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Baltagon, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good morning and have a nice day.